some respects, Siki, your, your example today of the client that was still yes. suffering from a 500% cost increase, in some respects that doesn't surprise me. I mean, one thing that the Cloud Evolutions report uncovered for us was that approximately 75% of the respondents had barely started this journey. And, and that's it, but there have been some amazing, good um, example. And, uh, you know, at HCL Tech, we are very lucky that we have some very game-changing um, projects when we take um, a life science client mm -hmm. to reduce their trial system from 36 months to 18 months on reaction mm -hmm. to the pandemic. And by the way, they could only have done it in a cloud environment, but it was a concerted effort mm -hmm. how the business, us as a provider, the cloud provider, a new operating model. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, th I think the journey sometimes feels it's like just started. The journey to cloud might be not as the preferred mm -hmm. path. There is a lot of representation in the report that says that um, cloud native Cloud native platform mm. engineering is the way to go because it does enable innovation, and that's what people are looking for. Yeah, I mean, you made a good reference there to the operating model and, and yeah. skills, of course, and you know we've been overwhelmed with clients who are quite <laughs> keen, enthusiastic to learn that kind of new set of skills, new practices. They often ask us to kind of modernize their entire workforce so that they know these new um, behaviors. How widespread do you think that is? Is that a common request from clients? I think it's, 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 it is. And in the report, we have a very clear delineation by geography. Mm. Obviously, North America being the area where still a lot of the scale, Europe is very regionalized. Asia Pac has some very strong uh, pockets, but as well in the report is very clear that one of the biggest inhibitor of adopting cloud technology is having the right skill, mm -hmm. having the right um, people, having the right organization model so that they can take um, advantage, advantage. I always say cloud is generational. Yeah. You know, the, mm -hmm. I have a lot of hopes that there is a brand new set of generation. They're born in the cloud. They only know cloud technology. They only know digital mm. interactions, and they will, you know, help the innovation path that we are on right now. I think we were really surprised here in the labs as well, actually. We thought when clients started this transformational journey, we would only need to show them how to modernize their applications, maybe show them how to modernize the way that they run IT. But I think the thing that we've certainly been surprised by in the labs is the sheer number of clients who come to us and admit I just don't have the skill to do this. Right? Yeah. I know what I need to do. I've got the vision. I've got the motivation to achieve that vision, but I just don't know how to do that. So we've been really surprised by the sheer number of clients that need us to kind of accelerate their journey through this kind of skills modernization uh, approach. And I, I do agree with you. It, it does tend to be generational, right? It's, yeah, uh, it does. But I think in HCL Tech, for instance, we are in our own industrialization mm -hmm. journey where you know we are changing parasitic operating mm -hmm. model, run books, um, a lot of industrialization and, and automations, and creating platform for training mm -hmm. has been extremely important. Mm -hmm.